welcome back to my channel everybody it has been a while i know but i just got back from five weeks away in europe so i figured there's no better time to jump back into my youtube routine and my vlogs than now so that's what we're doing today welcome back to a new vlog today is probably going to be just a daily vlog i have a lot going on but like inside of the house um so i just figured i would bring you guys along with me this is a typical day in my life i got back from europe a day ago so it's been a lot of just getting back into the routine catching up getting myself organized yesterday i spent the whole day unpacking doing laundry cleaning my room because it looked like a tornado hit i had a bit of a mental breakdown because i have so many things to put away clothes wise even products too because i got quite a bit of packages while i was gone but i have no room for my clothes and i had no hanger so i placed a huge order on amazon for just hangers um and i got them in today so i'm going to be organizing my closet in a little bit and getting rid of some stuff so i figured i would show you guys that whole process i actually am kind of bummed today because i had planned to go to a benefit event it's for one of their new mascaras and I was planning to go when to get my nails done and I was able to get in an early appointment with my nail girl. She fit me in very nice of her specifically for this event and as I'm driving home from the event my engine light comes on and it starts flashing and automatically I start panicking because I've had a bad experience with cars in the past where they just or my past one kind of like stopped as I was driving and it was very very scary so anyway got really nervous called a service advisor and he just said that if it's flashing that it's really dangerous and i shouldn't be driving the car so i immediately stopped turned it off and then he said it's fine to just drive it to the dealership because it was so close so drove it there long story short my car needs to be fixed so i don't have a way to get to the events like by the time i got home it was already too late to just get ready so just gonna do everything else that i have to do today and hopefully make it to the next benefit event praying because i love benefit um but yeah that's where i'm at today wearing this cute little headband from nude swim they have these really cute um bathing suit sets that come with like a matching headband super random that i'm talking about it but i just got a couple of their pieces in yesterday and this is my first time wearing it so i figured i would just bring it up because it is so cute let me just show you since it's beside me the bathing suits and then another print that they have because i am obsessed so that's what one of the sets looks like i wanted like a really simple and minimal bathing suit that's why i got the triangle top but then this very minimal um high-waisted or high leg rise whatever you want to call it matching bottom and then you guys saw i'm wearing the matching headband this is one of their newer prints i'm obsessed because it's not a black and white zebra print it's more of like a cream and dark brown i don't know if you can tell but it's just so flattering and way less harsh than a black and white because i have a black and white zebra print bathing suit from another company and i don't know it just looks like i want to say a little bit tacky on me but this is like so like luxe and rich looking because of the colors that they use and then there's the matching headband which i love because obviously you don't have to just wear the headband with um the bikinis you can wear them like how i am with clothes to like to leave your house um but i'm kind of bummed about it because i wanted these for my trip but they didn't come in time um but it's fine because they're super cute and i'm gonna make an occasion to wear them whether it's a pool day or a beach day or something i am gonna put these to use before august ends but yeah so like i said i can't go to the benefit event and it is currently like five o'clock so i figured since the sun is still out i'm gonna take advantage i don't want this whole day to be a write-off because i really want to jump back in the routine of work as soon as i got back from my trip because honestly i was missing working um don't tell my boyfriend i said that <laughs> i obviously really enjoyed the holiday and the vacation with him and his family but i just like i love working i don't know if there's something wrong with me but 
I love working, so anyway, I was missing it. So I'm jumping back into it today. I'm gonna make use of the sun being out and film a couple of videos. And I don't know if you guys can see, but there's a couple of Saint Laurent packages up there that I haven't opened yet. I have been dying to open them. I obviously know what's inside because I bought them on my trip in Milan. Um, but I've been waiting to unbox them because I want to film a little TikTok for you guys first and show you what I got because nobody knows. Um, so once I do that for TikTok, I'm going to come on here and show you guys because it's super cute. I went a little bit crazy in the store, but it's fine. Um, I feel like I deserved it. So I'll show you guys that in a little bit. I'm going to get to filming a couple of videos right now and then check in with you in a little bit. Okay, I lied. Before I jump into filming some videos, I'm going to just use my journal because, or my agenda or planner. Oh my gosh, I literally like... The jet lag is catching up to me in the sense that I literally have no vocabulary and I can't speak. Is that normal with jet lag? I feel like I typically don't get jet lagged when I travel and this is the first time where like I actually feel affected and I'm like, what the hell is going on? Like I have, like I feel like I have no brain or like a brain the size of a pea. So if I sound stupid in this video, please don't mind. But anyway, I'm going to be using my planner um, because I've been missing writing things down. I'm such a type A person where... I plan everything and I like to write it out. I know there's some people that don't mind doing it digitally or on their phone or computer, which I do that too. Um, just because I said I'm a crazy organized person, but writing it down is just different and I've been missing it. So I'm going to go ahead and write it down, like write down the videos that I want to do and other things that I want to accomplish today. So hopefully I'm able to hit all my goals. And also, one more thing I want to say. Okay, I forgot what else I was going to say. But anyway, these are the planners. They're from Papier. This is not sponsored at all. I'm just obsessed with their planner. So I figured I would show you guys if you're looking for a cute one. And trust me, I have tried so, so many planners. And this one is my favorite. It's literally so organized. And it's the most aesthetic looking ones. Like I... I'm not that kind of person, although I was, <laughs> to get like the chapters or indigo ones that have like all the different flowers and prints and cheesy things. Like, no, I need something minimal and cute that looks good on my desk. So that's why I got this one. Highly recommend. Like I said, this is not sponsored or anything. I just really like these. I want to show you guys. So I'm going to write down some things to do today. And yeah. Officially done filming everything that I want to film today. Super happy about that. But now it is 6.30 and I have quite a bit of other things I want to do and show you guys like cleaning and organizing my closet. So I'm going to get to that. But the last video that I filmed for TikTok was my unboxing of my Saint Laurent purchases in Milan. So I'm going to just show you guys what I got because... I'm super happy about it and also one thing that I want to say before this is that everything um, that I have that's not like from a brand I buy myself especially when it comes to my luxury designer things nobody's gonna be spending that money on me especially not my parents um, so I work really hard for my money to be able to afford this kind of stuff not that I have to explain myself I feel like nobody's really gonna question that but I don't know just in case um and also i like to invest in good quality pieces um that are like wardrobe essentials that i'm gonna wear all the time and then if i don't like it i can always sell it and then put that money towards something else but anyway this is the first thing that i got i needed a nice um classic simple belt i don't know why it's not focusing so that's what the buckle looks like it's obviously super simple and minimal which is what i wanted because i have um the gucci belt like the large wide one i want to say it's like maybe double or three times this one with a big buckle that's years old and i loved it at the time but honestly it just like doesn't suit my personal style anymore and i probably haven't worn it since i don't even know what year like definitely over four or five years ago so i'm gonna be selling or getting rid or like giving it to like my family or something that one but i needed to replace it with something that i'm actually gonna wear like this and 
Pieces like this just look so good with a simple outfit like jeans and a bodysuit or a basic simple top um, or shorts, this and the same thing, a basic top. It just like kind of elevates it. So that's what I got, but I actually didn't even go to the Saint Laurent store for this. I went for a bag. So I'm going to show you guys first and then explain the story without like rambling on before showing it to you. So this is the bag. I got the YSL Hobo. Um, I think the original version of this is the smaller one that everybody has. I'm pretty sure that was the original. And then they came out with this one and then there's a bigger one. I went for this one just because I need a good everyday bag. The smaller one could have been an everyday bag, but honestly, I felt like first of all, everybody has it. And second of all, it's just a little bit too small. Um, I typically do carry small bags, but for every day, like in case I want to carry my camera, a tripod, a light, do you know what I mean? I want something a little bit bigger. So this is a perfect in-between size. I'm about 5'3", and this is a really good size for my body, which is something I struggle with a lot for shoulder bags, especially hobo bags. Sometimes they're too overwhelming or just like too big for my body. So I got this one. And it's a funny story because I got it in Milan. I actually wasn't even supposed to be near a St. Laurent store, but I told Luca that I want to buy myself a bag, so we made it happen. Um, but basically what happened was before going into this trip, I thought I want to buy the Bottega Jodi. So in Barcelona, that was our first stop. I went to go see it and I just, so I went to go see the Jodi in person or I've seen it in person before, but I went to like go buy it at the Barcelona store. And when I tried it on, I don't know, just something about it just didn't feel right to me. I just thought, you know, the trip only just started. I was going to be in Europe for five weeks. It just didn't feel right for me to buy it. So I didn't. Um, and then we went to Bari in Italy. And the only stores that they had there was Louis Vuitton, Prada, and something else. Louis Vuitton, Prada and i don't know maybe it was bottega but i don't think so then i went into prada i saw the clio like the og big one i was like this is a perfect shoulder bag but then it was too big for me tried on the smaller one thought it was really cute but i didn't pull the trigger because i'm like i want to go into saint laurent like i just love saint laurent there was no saint laurent there so anyway long story short me and luca um kind of moved some flights around on our way back home because we were flying back from barcelona after leaving italy and we made a trip to Milan because I just knew I had to go to Saint Laurent. Walked into Saint Laurent, saw this bag, tried it on, and immediately knew I had to have it. Like, you know, when you just get that feeling, you need this item, or like whether it's a piece of clothing, a bag, shoes, whatever. So, anyway, I had that feeling with this bag, and so I pulled the trigger. So, those are my two little splurge pieces throughout the whole trip. I've been really good up until this point, honestly been saving a lot of money for my future and I'm working really hard so I thought I would treat myself I think it's really really important especially when you're grinding and working hard to take a step back and treat yourself it doesn't have to be these kinds of items obviously it could be vacation jewelry anything just don't forget to treat yourself because you deserve to reap the benefits of your hard work is that the way that the saying goes i don't even know but what i'm trying to say is don't forget to treat yourself and enjoy the pleasures in life okay update me and luca are gonna be going to get some food I'm really excited because i have been craving this place since like while we were on vacation it's jamaican food i'm addicted to it um but anyway so we're gonna be going there in a little bit i'm just placing a really exciting order now though because i am doing a bedroom refresh so excited because i hate my bed i love the bed frame but i bought the bed frame on its own so it didn't come with like the side panels that go around the bed to hide um the box spring so right now you can literally see my box spring it's so ugly it may not be a big deal to some of you guys but it honestly like really bugs me when i look at it so, and I like literally work in my room. So I figured I would just go ahead and um, get a new bed, honestly. And since I'm getting a new bed, I'm going to be getting some new side tables just to kind of like freshen up that whole area of my room. I'll show you guys. 
like all this. I'm going to be getting a new bed, new side tables. I'm going to be getting, what else did I get? Oh, a cute like little lounge chair to read my books on. So I'm very excited. Um, I'll give you guys a quick little sneak peek. Everything is honestly so aesthetic and creamy and white. I literally want my room to feel like one big cloud and have it be like all light. Even though some things are black, like my dresser, my um, chandelier, then the side tables are going to be black. But for the most part, other than that, it's going to be light and airy and all neutral. I love my neutrals. So I'm actually going to be posting a TikTok of everything that I got to redo my room very soon so keep an eye out for that perfect perfect okay guys these dumplings are so there's no g at the end it's dumpling oh is it whatever these are so good It's literally just fried right. dough, really. It's crazy to think how so many different cultures have their own variations of the same thing. Mm -hmm. Like Italians have this, like a fried dough as well, right? Really? Mm -hmm. Good morning, you guys. I'm back to continue with the vlog. It's actually not really morning. It's the afternoon. It's basically 1 o'clock, and I'm just waiting for my Uber to pick up my car i got a text from the advisor that my car is ready she's fixed thank god because i was honestly so worried yesterday i thought that there was gonna be a lot of issues because i've had some bad experiences with my previous car um but i'm just about to leave so i figured i may as well just open up a couple of packages that i just got in the mail and show you guys what i got don't mind the laundry hanging in the background um but really exciting i already know who they're from one is riona they have some really good quality basics they are from toronto i'm pretty sure they're like a toronto based um small company but their stuff is so good so let me just try and open it this is what the note says. So cute. I love receiving handwritten notes from brands. Okay, I already know I'm going to love these two things. So first of all, it's this long sleeve double line shirt in their truckle gray color. This is going to be perfect for pre-fall and fall and winter. I like that um, double lines material. They're known for the fit and fabric that they have at Riona. So I'm really excited about that. And then these are just some black trousers that I'm really excited for because I have quite a bit of trousers, but I don't have a classic black pair. And this is definitely a wardrobe staple. So super excited. That's what I got from Riona. I'm gonna open up my Dr. Dennis Gross package. They have the best skincare ever. I actually went to one of their events in Toronto and I met, um, the co-founder which is dr dennis gross's wife carrie and she is the sweetest person ever okay this is what it came in this cute little gold package let's open it up i feel like i might know what it is because when i met carrie she said that they have a really exciting product launching soon so i think that's what's inside of here also they have the coolest packaging ever because it's like 3d when you open it up it like pops out so it is their lip plumping treatment so it's pump and repair she said that she literally doesn't get lip injections anymore because she just uses this and her daughters are obsessed with it just as much as she is it says two times the volume plump but define and repair so i'm really excited to try this out thank you so much dr dennis gross i love you guys and your team just got my car back i am the happiest person ever so i got some starbucks of course to celebrate I got a grande iced matcha latte with, what did I put in it? I know I put brown sugar, but I got, so I got three pumps of um, brown sugar and then two pumps of the liquid cane. I think it usually comes with four, so I just did half, but so good. It's hitting the spot. And now I'm just off to a quick little appointment that I'm going to go back home 
finish all of my emails but I'm a little bit stressed out because when I went to pick up my car um, or before I went to go pick up your my car oh my gosh I need to take a second to breathe but before I went to pick up my car I told you guys how I had bad experiences with my past car because I live in an area that has a lot of bushes and trees so there's a lot of rodents so with my past car the rodents ate some wires and really messed it up so now when I went to pick up my car the guy goes like just letting you know there were rodents in your car and they chewed some wires and that's why your engine light went off and why it got all messed up so now I'm worried because I don't want the same thing to happen again um and I just don't know what to do I know he said that you can put like um bounce sheets like you know those dryer sheets into like the hood of your car around the engine along with something citrusy he said because he said rodents really don't like anything citrusy smelling so I don't know I'm gonna have to figure it out because obviously they go in from underneath the car and I'm not trying to go underneath my car and like stuff things in like I don't know how I'm gonna do that so I'm gonna have to ask my dad for help or get Luca to help me because the last thing I need is for these rodents to do it again and for my car to not be under warranty like thank god it's a brand new car so everything was covered but the last thing I need is for it to happen again my car not be under warranty and then to have to pay a huge bill so I gotta get that figured out but I'm trying not to stress too much about it because everything is okay now um but yeah I'm gonna go head over to my appointment also later on today I'm gonna be decluttering my closet and organizing so I'll take you guys along with that because I didn't have time to do it yesterday so yeah stay tuned for that okay I'm back it is a new day it's actually not the following day from the last time you guys saw me it's now Sunday I think yeah it's Sunday today it is a long weekend don't ask me what the long weekend is for because I honestly don't know um, that sounds really bad, but anyway, I'm just in the middle of clearing out my closet as I told you guys I was going to. I'm not in my room, as you can tell. I'm actually in a spare bedroom in our house that's actually connected to my room, and I'm going to be turning this into my secondary closet slash office maybe i have to see it's literally a spare bedroom um but the walls are kind of dirty as you can see i don't know if it's coming up on camera so i'm probably going to be painting this room maybe during the week if i have time if not the next weekend um just because i want like a fresh coat of paint so that it looks nice if i decide to take photos in here and i don't know i just love a fresh clean room so i'm gonna be painting them like white or off-white as of right now i just have this clothing rack some of my shoes down there and then this closet is so unorganized honestly like i have some gifted things here i have um makeup accessories up there and like glam accessories like press on nails lashes here is all of my makeup or is it makeup no this is all my skincare stuff so yeah and then some makeup makeup bag i love this base makeup bag i brought it to europe with me um so organized and then down here i have like self-care stuff like shampoo wax fake tan body lotion all that good stuff and then the rest of it is like actual clothes and stuff so bags shoes and then clothes so this is what i'm gonna be organizing today it's a lot to do and i honestly don't know if i'm gonna be able to get through all of it just because we're having a family barbecue in a couple of hours so this was not good timing but it's fine um so what i'm thinking as of right now is that my main closet in my room is gonna have everything except for fancy clothing like fancier dresses skirts fancier tops that i don't wear on a regular basis and then all of my outerwear just because the stuff is so bulky and i have a lot more outerwear it's just that i honestly don't have space for it in my actual closet so that's all gonna be going here i have to figure out how i'm gonna put my shoes and stuff because i just want the closet for clothes honestly like down here I have shoes, but I want to use that rack above it for clothing over here. 
so we'll see i'm thinking about doing a little shopping spree on ikea to fill up the room i'll just quickly show you guys what i'm talking about so this whole wall i want to have like as my clothing space so i'm either thinking the built-in ikea pax closet or just buying multiple racks and setting it up um and then getting like a shoe shelf and then one of those I don't know, it's not focusing. Okay, there. So like a shoe shelf and then one of those Alex drawer sets. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. It's like the beauty YouTuber OG IKEA thing they would use to organize their makeup and skincare. So I'm thinking about getting that for bags and jewelry and accessories. So I don't know, you guys help me out. If you have any suggestions, let me know. The amount of clothes that I have is actually absurd and it's 100% not normal at all. Okay, I'm going to have a donation pile and then things that I'm potentially keeping and then things that I'm getting rid of. This dress is so cute and i want to keep it because it's literally the cutest thing on but also it's like where and when am i gonna wear this so maybe i should just i don't know guys a little story time this skirt has gotten me into so much trouble which is shocking because it's not even short like look at it on me it's only maybe like a couple inches above my knee, but I remember throwback when I worked in retail, I got sent home from wearing this skirt because apparently it's too short, but I didn't listen and I wore it anyway, so I guess that's my karma. Okay, these other pants are so good, but they just don't look good on me. My hips are a little bit too curvy for them and I'm a little bit too short. I wish I could keep them. But into the donation pile it goes. These Melina pants. So when I tell you I have literally never worn these pants. Never. I've only ever worn them to try them on as soon as I got them in the mail. Because I purchased these so fast in the fall of like I don't even know. Two maybe three years ago now. It was during COVID. Um, and I just haven't worn them. They just don't fit me well because I have a long torso and those are supposed to be high-waisted but because of my long torso they aren't high-waisted enough so don't wear those instead i got the abercrombie version and i love the abercrombie version they're way more comfortable and they're more stretchy but they don't look like a cheap leather if that makes any sense so highly recommend the abercrombie ones if you're looking for leather pants for this fall and winter okay i feel like i've had enough i'm kind of getting a bit overwhelmed because I don't have the things that I want to fully organize, so that's the best that it's going to get until I get those Alex drawers that I was telling you guys about, and then a couple more of these clothing racks. So I'm going to end off the vlog here, but there will be one very soon. I'm getting back into the groove of vlogging, and I'm just so excited to share more of me and my life with you guys. So as always, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!